Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Ali Crochet. Today, I will show you how to crochet a super cute stingray. Look at how cute it is, guys. Hmm. This is really fast and easy to make, so bear with me. And our materials will be, as usual, a super bulky burnout yarn. This soft and squishy. And then I'll be using a 6mm crochet hook. I'm gonna use two um, crochet hook because later for the where the where you put the eye it's really hard to insert the bigger hook so you, we need a smaller hook to insert and grab the yarn in this part right here so I need this so we have to have this smaller hook and then a tapestry needle or crochet yarn needle a pair of scissors a this is optional actually a bamboo stick for you know to use to hide your yarns and and a safety eyes and if you can't really or you're having problem locating your stitches you need a stitch marker as well and don't forget your stuffings Let's begin with a slip knot and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and single crochet one. Then put two single crochet into the next stitch. One and two single crochet into the last stitch and chain one turn your work insert your hook into the first stitch chain one then one more single crochet two single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch chain one turn your work two single crochet on that first stitch one two single crochet into the next stitch another single crochet another single crochet into the next single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch and last single crochet into the next stitch and put two single crochet into the last stitch and chain one Turn your work, two single crochet into the first stitch, eight single crochet into the following eight stitches all the way across, one and eight, and then put two single crochet into the last stitch, then chain one, turn your work. Now again, two single crochet into the first stitch and put ten, 10 single crochet into the following 10 stitches. 1 and 10. Now put two single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1, turn your work. Two single crochet into the first stitch and put 
12 single crochet into the following 12 stitches 1 and 12 now put 2 single crochet into the last stitch and chain 1 turn your work put 2 single crochet into the first stitch again and single crochet into um, 14 single crochet into the following 14 stitches and 14 now 2 single crochet into the last stitch chain 1 turn your work and this time you are going to single crochet all the way across and you should have a total of 18 single crochet all the way across now chain one turn your work and still you are going to single crochet all the way across in each of the following 18 stitches and 18 chain one then cut your yarn now count from the beginning of your work one two three four five and sixth and insert your hook into the seventh stitches Then make a slip knot on the same color yarn, grab it, and chain one. Insert again to make a single crochet on that same stitch. Now five more single crochet into the following five stitches. Two, three, four and five and you should have a total of six single crochet chain one turn your work insert your hook in the beginning stitch single crochet and single crochet into the rest of the stitches for a total of six single crochet chain one so you don't have to cut the yarn because we are going to connect because make another same as this same pattern like this you can use same color or you can use a different color so like I said you are going to attach both sides then you are going to single crochet all the way around in each stitches now before you're going to single crochet you need to put the eye in here in this side by side using your safety eye So this is why we need a smaller yarn, be, I mean a smaller hook because now that the stitches are covered with our safety eye, it's hard to insert the bigger hook that we are using so we are going to use this smaller crochet hook. Okay, single crochet on that stitch and then single crochet in each of the following stitches and 
can here use a smaller hook put two single crochet on the corner single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next like I said single crochet in each of the following stitches but once you reach here in the corner you are going to put five single crochet in the same stitch one two three four and five then single crochet until you reach here in your base part so once you reach here in your bottom part you're going to insert I mean single crochet into the center also as you remember you have a total of three single crochet so put single crochet here and into the center of that single crochet of the three single crochet by the way you're going to chain up to 12 and this will be the tail of the stingray once you're done with your um, 12 single crochet you are going to slip stitch in each of the following stitches all the way across where you started this chain over here single crochet into that third single crochet on the beginning stitch that you made and then single crochet all the way across until you reach here in the corner and put five single crochet as well here we are in our corner like I said put five single crochet two three four and five now before you close your work you are going to put the polyfill or your stuffing don't put a lot of stuffing by the way just put here on the tummy part because here the wings are the flap you don't have to put stuffing in there because the stingray is kind of flat so just a little bump right there is enough now continue single crochet and use a smaller hook if you reach here on the eye part so here we are in our last part you're going to cut your yarn and then use your tapestry needle just like that then hide the excess yarn and cut your yarn now as I said using a bamboo stick you can just push it in 
Okay, so use your black yarn for the smile. Here in the bottom, insert here into the second row of the white. And here also. That's how I make a smile. You can use your technique also if you want. Cut the yarn and push in the end. And here is our finished product. Our stingray. Thank you, thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, you can also put a dots, dots here. If you want to. So thank you, thank you again for watching. And this is Ali Crochet. See you on my next vlog. Bye. Shh.